What is going on guys, it's Declan here and today I'm going to be showcasing you the majority of what was included in the business DLC update. Now I was actually supposed to get this video out to you guys yesterday so I am a little bit late on this but due to technical issues I couldn't actually get any videos out yesterday so I do apologize for that. But to make it up to you guys I am going to be showing you how to get all of the GTA 5 DLC vehicles online for free so as soon as this video hits 400 likes guys i will be pumping that video out to you guys so make sure you do drop a like if you do go on to enjoy and with that said let's begin so starting off i'm going to be showcasing you the new business dlc vehicles and starting with the Gran turismo r so as you can see on screen right now i'm actually currently driving this with the gold paint job and it is fully customized it's absolutely amazing one of the fastest vehicles in the game once it is fully upgraded definitely a vehicle to buy in gta 5 online it is currently priced at 500 grand but like i said i'm going to be showing you guys how to get this completely free as soon as this video hits 400 likes nevertheless i'm going to be showing you guys quickly just a quick run over of the actual um, upgrades you can add onto this you have all of the basic upgrades you know the engine the suspension all of the basic upgrades and then the coloring i actually used was a metallic bronze and then a pearlescent race yellow and basically that adds the gold touch to it to make it look awesome and then I end up finishing the paint job with a matte black as the secondary colour, making this paint job look absolutely awesome. And then I also end up adding a GT wing as the spoiler. I think that's the best spoiler in my opinion. Obviously, it's always down to personal preference though. And then I finish up with some chromatic Z wheels, which I colour gold, and some race yellow tyre smoke. Anyway guys, that is pretty much the upgrades I have on this vehicle and moving on to the next vehicle. So the next vehicle is the Albany Alpha, as you can see on screen right now. With the upgrades I actually applied to this vehicle, it looks absolutely amazing as well as with the gold paint job and the yellow tyre smoke. I'm going to be showing you guys the upgrades I actually do add very shortly. But with that said, as you can see on screen right now, this vehicle looks absolutely awesome with the paint job I do add on. As well as the triple vent hood at the front with the spoiler, it makes it look very nice and very sleek. It's currently the slowest DLC vehicle within the business DLC update but it is still pretty decently fast anyway guys with that said I'm now going to be showing you the upgrades that I do apply so you guys can try and add them on yourselves so as you can see on screen right now you have all of the basic upgrades you have the front splitter you have the armor the brakes the engine you know the exhaust all that good stuff but the main upgrade for me or the best you know design upgrade for me would be the triple vent hood in the hoods menu as you can see it adds that triple vent onto the hood making it look that much better giving it that extra edge and this is actually one of my best looking cars or one of my personal favorites as you can see i actually go on to add the you know the gold paint job i first start with a bronze metallic or a metallic bronze and then go on to add the pearlescent race yellow to give it that gold look i actually love the gold paint job like you already saw and then i go on to add the gt wing and that is pretty much all the upgrades i have i just fully upgrade the rest you know the you know the, the turbo and the suspension all that kind of good stuff and then finish with the chromatic z wheels Nevertheless guys, that is pretty much all of the upgrades that I do add onto this vehicle, so now moving on to the next vehicle. So the next vehicle would have been the Dinka Jester, but considering I've actually already covered that in my last video, I thought I'd leave that out, and if you guys do want to see that vehicle in action and the showcase for it, then go ahead and click the link in the description below and that will take you to that showcase, or you guys can just go ahead and check my previous video. Nevertheless, instead the next vehicle is going to be the Vestra Aeroplane, and as you can see on screen already, I'm currently flying this in single player, but it does cost $950,000 in online, making this the most pricey vehicle within the business DLC update. I personally don't think it should cost that much, but you know, Rockstar is going to be Rockstar and they will overprice things all the time. If you guys do need money, then I will have a link in the description below, as well as an annotation in the top right corner of the screen on a great money farm. Definitely one of the fastest legit ways to make money if you guys are short on cash. Anyway, this is pretty much the Vestra showcase done, as you can see, in action here. Uh, it's definitely one of the best looking planes, but I don't think it should cost that much. I'm going to have a list of all of the vehicle prices online now. As you can see, the Jester there listed at 240 grand. And I want to know what your guys' opinion is of the pricing of the new DLC vehicles. Do you think they're overpriced? What do you guys think they should be priced at? Go ahead and comment down below, and I'll be sure to check it out. As you can see on screen, here is the Vestra, priced at 950 grand. And my opinion is this is the only overpriced vehicle on the game at the moment, while well, with the new business DLC anyway. And that is pretty much all of the new DLC vehicles covered. So now I'm going to move on to the new DLC weapons. So the two new DLC weapons that have been added in are called the Heavy Pistol and the Special Carbine. You can purchase these from any ammunition store and the Heavy Pistol is currently priced at 3,500 cash. And there is a fair decent amount of upgrades you can add on to this, the extended clip, the flashlight and the suppressor. And then I end up going with a gold tin, as you, if you didn't know already, gold is my favourite colour. 
and then after that I go to the special carbine and it's actually priced at 14 grand a little bit overpriced in my opinion as you can see you do have a fair amount of upgrades once again extended clip flashlight scope and suppressor and then I end up going with the gold tint Nevertheless, I'm now going to show you guys these weapons in action, the heavy pistol starting off with. This heavy pistol is definitely the best pistol in the game. You can literally mow down cops with this in seconds. And it's definitely one of the strongest pistols in the game when it comes to damage. Also guys, if you do have an extended clip on this, it gives it a whopping 36 bullets, making this definitely one of the most efficient pistols if you do want to take on cops and other online players. Next up is the Special Carbine and this weapon is one hell of a weapon, definitely the best weapon in the game in my opinion. You guys should definitely buy this and check it out. It's one of the most accurate and most powerful weapons in the game as you can see I end up sniping that guy and killing him in seconds. This weapon is literally the best weapon in the game. Go buy it, go check it out and as you can see this guy he tries to shoot me from behind. I end up turning around, gambling and taking him out in seconds as you're going to see now. This weapon is just destruction in form of a weapon. You guys need to buy it, basically. <laughs> anyway, guys, with that said, that is pretty much the weapons covered. So now I'm going to be covering the clothes and the masks, and then I'm going to wrap up the video there. So I'm going to start off with the masks and then end on the clothes. I know you guys don't want to see a big, long video, so I do apologize for the video length at the moment. But guys, as you can see, here are the new masks, and it's pretty much just a range of different hockey masks, and there is a few more different kind of masks at the end, as you're going to see. I'm going to be talking about my favorite mask shortly. As you can see, you've got the Metal Warrior. He is one of my favorites. That looks absolutely awesome in my opinion. And the Molten Warrior is my favorite. As you can see, this is it right here. And that is pretty much it for the new mask. So now moving on to the new DLC clothes. So now I'm going to showcase you the last part of the DLC showcase, which is the new clothes. And as you can see on screen right now, Rockstar have added a lot of new suit jackets for the male characters which look absolutely amazing. I actually really do like the look of these suit jackets. Um, they look nice and sleek and professional. And you've got a bunch of new hats as you can see on screen right now. You have a different range of bowler hats as well as some nice top hats for you guys if anyone actually likes the top hats. Top hats aren't actually for me. They're for more of a funny type of thing in my opinion. But you know, it's always down to personal preference like I've said. Anyway guys, I'm gonna be wrapping up the clothes showcase here. Obviously I can't really showcase you all of the clothes because that would take a while. But I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an insight to of what you can expect when it does come to DLC clothes. And obviously you do have female characters as well which do have a lot of new clothes that have been added in but I can't currently showcase you them guys. So for any female characters out there you are going to go ahead and you know you need to go to the store to check out what clothes are available. And with that said guys I'm going to leave the video there so if you did enjoy don't forget to drop a like as it really does help out and it really does show support our videos. And with that said I will see you guys in the next video.